In today's video, we're taking your comments and trying out the things you guys wanted to see with glow sticks. All right, so we found some comments involving glow sticks. You guys really like glow sticks and so do we. There have been a few things that a lot of you have asked to see and so we picked out four of those and we're gonna be trying them all today. Here's the basic idea. We have a lot of glow sticks and we've got four great comments. So we're gonna try each one of these out and see what the results are. All right, so our first comment comes from Sadie Hannah who says mix gallium with the fluid and glow sticks, cast the metal and see if it glows. Do you think gallium and glow stick fluid are gonna mix? I don't, but you know what? We should still find out. Shiny liquid metal. Here, you can, you can play too. All right, let's pour. All right, well, I already love it. I don't think it's mixing, but I love it. I think it's just settled on top of the gallium. Pretty sure it is. Yeah, you can kind of see here, it's just chilling on top. We'll try and mix it in, see what we can do. I can't tell if it wants to mix or if it's just getting angry about it. Well, no, look what you did. We've made lots of gallium beads. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. Well, I was thinking if we poured off the extra, but just had it just underneath the level of the gallium, then it would yes. still be glowing below it. Oh, that's so it. cool. Okay, yeah, mix it up again. Let's pour that out. It's definitely not mixing with the glow fluid, but it is reacting to it. Just try and pour off just some of the glow fluid, but not all, so it should still be visible mixed oh, into the so gallium. That's so pretty. It's weird, it's like it went gummy. You that's know, pretty cool because the silver gets drawn out as you push your fingers yeah. through. It does look like it's re-beading up a little bit. It is. I think it's starting to solidify. But the interesting thing about gallium is when it cools and solidifies, it normally forms like these little squares. This is all staying very round. I'm curious to know what it's going to be like when it cools down. If we let it cool down all the way, maybe encourage it in the refrigerator, would we then be able to pour the glow fluid out and have just a, a bunch pile of, of gallium, gallium beads. beads. Yeah, so I think we should try just put it in the fridge for a few minutes, let that really cool back down and then see what we've got. Okay, and this is a new weird thing we have in here. What? Guys, it had settled down the bottom. Most of the time, glow fluid loses all of its light by the time it gets that cold. But our gallium. Oh, oh that is not well, solidified. Not yet, but it's crunchy. Parts of it are crunchy and some parts are still liquid. All right, let's put it back in. Miguel Acosta asks, what happens if you put glow stick fluid in Orbeez? I think we should try each liquid separate and mm -hmm. the two liquids together. I think so. So we've already got some mixed together. We can just pour some in there right now, have it set, see what happens. Some of them do look like they're glowing already. All right, so for these ones, they're gonna have to sit out. We don't know how long this is gonna take, so we'll check them again tomorrow. So something else that I wanna try, Orbeez are made out of a similar material to our super absorbent polymer. Now I've actually already got some expanded here, and I wanna just see if we can break some of these open, pour it in, and if we can just make some glowing, slimy ooze. Well, it's not really mixing in, just sort of sitting on the top there. I wanna do one more green one. Wow, that one is bright. What did you do? Microwaved it for about 12 seconds. And you get a glow stick that is so bright, it's almost painful to look at. Hmm, that's why it didn't look green. It just kind of mixes with the yellow and mm -hmm. all turns yellow. Yellow is winning out That's here. all right, it's brighter. You can mix this in and make this glowy slime. Well? It's actually kind of working. taking it pretty well, yeah. Here, congratulations, you have glow slime. Let's try some purple. All right. Did it work? It looks like it worked. Um, well, it's it's <laughs> surrounded. It is. The sodium polyacrylate. Oh, that's still dry. That's like a... That's the same, like it, it's not, not getting... Not at all. It's not absorbing it. It feels like wet sand. So that looks really cool. It does. But yeah, in the bowl, it literally just looks like we have a little glowing bowl of sand. Sand from Avatar Land. If you're doing any experiments with glow sticks and the fluid in glow sticks, we highly recommend you try and keep it away from plastic as much as possible because it doesn't agree with some types of plastic. If you saw our video where we filled a water bottle rocket with glow fluid and then launched it up in the sky, afterward, like when we were cleaning up, 
some of the cases around our GoPros had actually started to melt a little bit everywhere that the fluid had gotten onto it. So be careful with it. It doesn't like plastic. It's not gonna kill you, but you don't wanna get it in your eyes. You don't want to probably cook it and breathe it in. You might be taking that outside. You don't wanna get it in your mouth. And obviously you can see, even on your skin, not gonna be great because it is eating through our gloves. Speaking of which, let's try our next common request from Master Assassin One who says, can you freeze dry glow sticks and do they still work if you do? Ooh. I think we'll try a glow stick that we have not cracked, a glow stick we have cracked. Then we'll have glow fluid mixed mm -hmm. and then glow the fluid two separate, separate let's glow do it. fluids. So we're gonna have five separate little experiments. Non-glowing and glowing glow sticks. Activator, color, activated. and activated, yes. Now, do you think any of these are going to be glowing by the time it's done? Do you think we can mix the two that aren't mixed and make them glow? Maybe the unactivated ones would be okay. The freeze dryer takes up to 24 hours, so I'd say the ones that we've already activated have very little chance of still running by the time we're done, but it will be interesting to see what has happened to them. Mm -hmm. Uh, as for the other two, I don't know. I think this glow fluid is much more oil-based than water-based, so I don't think the freeze dryer is going to change its form a lot. But we gotta find we'll out. We'll find out. All right, gallium might be set. We wanna see if it's set or if it's uh, in pieces. Nope, this is it. Well, there's still a glow. And again, you don't really see it until I start moving it. But there's definitely still a glow in there. It's less now. Less, but still there. Seems set and mostly set together as well. Like it doesn't seem like beads. So it did. It's, there's some, it's like little tiny crunchy little pieces in here. So the gallium will not mix with the glow fluid, but it looks really cool when you pour it in. It has been 24 hours with our Orbeez in glow stick fluid. Nate, what happened? Mm, nothing. Water's the only thing that I have found that it absorbs reliably. It reacts with water really well. Things that aren't water, But we did so try, because you guys really wanted to see, so we tried. Mm -hmm. So this one was... This was our blue glow stick fluid. So we cracked this one and then poured it in and put the Orbeez in that. Under a black light, we can still see the color that it glows. Other than that, it just looks kind of dirty. This right here is just some activator. This is like three glow sticks worth of activator. Mm, nothing. Won't even glow. Activator doesn't really glow in a black light. And the dye, which does glow pretty fantastically under a black light. And so does the plate. And because it's on a glass plate, yeah, we get this really cool orange rim around the edge. But none of them absorbed into the Orbeez at all. So that is kind of disappointing because it would be cool, but we do have some expanded Orbeez and if nothing else, we can just try and throw some glow stick fluid on that. But you can actually see the glow stick fluid, how it's not even absorbing into the Orbeez. It's sitting like that oily surface on top of them. As cool as it looks from top down, you can see that the, the fluid is just sunk down beneath the Orbeez. The Orbeez themselves are not glowing. I have very dry hands, so I just got a couple of like tiny little just like micro cracks in my skin and I can feel every single one of them acutely right now. But look how cool that is. Glowing Orbeez. Can it be done? Not easily, but it can be done. Kind of. They don't kind absorb of. the glow fluid. It's coating them the same way it would just coat your skin. It's sitting on top of it. It's not absorbing in. <laughs> Some of them are still glowing. Maybe a little. It's very light, but there's some residual glow there. It's it's not the same color, like the two. No, not at all. They're not the same color. I'm also curious to see just, because it does get really cold in this machine, I wonder if that actually did anything. I'm like wondering if- it was if, enough to freeze the oil. Yeah, so I'm wondering if the ones that were cracked and then frozen, if they're going to light back up as they warm up. Ooh, very cold in there, yep. That's frozen. Empty or? Frozen. Okay. There's not much in there. That's the activator. That's the activator. Okay. This was that's our crack. That's the dye. Oh, that's just dye. And that's uh, also seems to be frozen. And this is our combo. This was activated. It's frozen. It might be slumping very slightly. It's. It actually looks like it's glowing in your hand though, or it was. I think this is the activated glow stick. Mm -hmm. That's very solid. The non-activated glow stick. Also solid, every, but I wonder if everything it can... needs to warm back up. Yeah. 
There is so little activator left. Oh, <laughs> no, there's some liquid activator. What? Really? And then something that froze. I'd say more than one substance going on here and one of them freezes. This is, I think, just the dye. And this was- Our mix. The activated. I can now slightly stir this around. So it's not like flowing and running much. There it is, a little bit of flow to it now as it warms up. Or activated, which really looks pretty much just the same. Now, I'm curious, when we've frozen this before with liquid nitrogen or uh, dry ice, we've actually had to brighten back up as it warms up. So can you tip some of the activated into my hand, see if we can make it just glow without the black light? Okay, I'm not seeing any color. It's still cold, let's see if we can warm this up at all. While you do that, I'm gonna see what happens if I try and pour our dye into our very cold activator. There you go. Not seeing any glow. I'm wondering what would happen if we poured some hot water onto that. Eh, kinda, and it's gone. So this one, uncracked, it's it's starting to warm back up, so I'm seeing you know the little air bubble move here. So we're gonna try cracking it, we're gonna see if it's still alive. Wait! Little bit. It survived! Okay, let's throw in the microwave, let's see if we can get this a little brighter. I think we can. You can put an uncracked glow stick in a freeze dryer and have it still work when it comes out. That's cool. I've never been able to microwave a glow stick after it's died and have it come back to life. I think we did put the chemical reaction on hold just a little bit because the freeze dryer, mm -hmm. as the name implies, it gets really cold, it freezes things. It just drops the temp right down and I don't think it all used up. Alex, sorry we got your comment a little covered in the glow fluid already, but you wanted to see what happens when you boil glow stick juice. We're gonna try. All right, well Alex Smissick, we've got a hot plate, we've got our pot on the hot plate. Let's wait till this is already warm before we pour the glow sticks in. I don't want to have to have them losing their glow yeah. just in the cold pot as we wait for it to heat up. I'm just gonna do this for a couple minutes then. All right, is the hot plate hot? It's hot. All right, let's do this. The pot is hot. Ooh, that glows really bright. Whoa! And boils and fumes. I don't think that's good for you. It does not stay glowing for very long. Oh, and it's that, on fire. Did you see what that looked like, though? That was awesome. Now, that is a flash. Hang on. Oh, that's so pretty. Wait, I'm just... Oh, my gosh. All right, so we attempted to try and boil the glow stick fluid on the hot plate in the kitchen. There were way too many fumes and so much smoke. So we've actually come outside. We're working on building a little dark box because, guys, that was an amazing reaction. We want you to be able to see it, but we also want to breathe while we do it. So Nate's getting some more barriers. Let's see if we can make this work. Guys, thank you so much for your comments. These were awesome. Keep them coming. We read the comments, and if there's things that a lot of people want to see us do, we want to do them. Guys, thanks for watching. Click up there to check out our most recent video. Team Rocket, blasting off again.